I never oh. thought Poseidon's <coughs> anger would be too much for the mighty oh. Alexios' oh. stomach. Oh. Oh. <sighs> that storm was more than just anger, Varnavas. That was personal. <laughs> Malaka. Ah, the Velos Islands. Two sides of the same coin. Velos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Delos. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Otharkis is one of them, Barnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. This place seems nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend. Uh, we don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north. Until one day, they sent two maidens and five of their men to Vilos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. Darky sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Bodarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing me. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any <laughs> immediate departures. Duh, that was Cephalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, Alexios! Here, Varnavas.
That must be one of the comps. By my side. Fight well. Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? Alexios. Ah, Kira told me that name. They called me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. We can mourn together, but first I need to find Kira. What do you want with her? I got a note from Kira. Her rebellion is failing. She's clever. Sparta got the same note. I will help Kira reclaim these islands. Just don't forget who helped you reclaim this beach. <laughs> I like you, warrior. The rebel hideout is an underground cave southwest of here. I'll meet you there. Hold up! Seems like a good place for a hideout.
I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? Do I really look like a spy to you? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. I thought Delos was the heart of the Diliagi League, Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Delos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Alexios, and Sparta too. Someone say Sparta? <sighs> You're alive! How are your men? Alive as well, thanks to you. You've met? Good. Now that we're all friends, we need a plan. How long till Podarchis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head. We know where he lives. I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face. That's a terrible plan. The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault. Not when there's only 12 of you. You think with your heart. That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight! And we will. But right now we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Alexios, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Duh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Alexios. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarchis. Oh, this is going to be a long rebellion.
Yeah. <laughs> 